Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Bulbasaur from Pokemon. So let's start with the eye on the right, and we start with the inner part of the curve. So starting on the inside, curving up and out. From here we're going to draw the bottom edge of the eye by drawing an upward curve around the same distance as the top line. And from here I'm going to take that point and tuck it in underneath the top eye, part of the eye. Just like that. Now from here we're going to draw the pupil. So starting at the very top here, I'm going to curve down and just tuck it in underneath that line there. And then right in the middle here, I'm going to draw a long, elongated oval. So very long and just stretched out. Like that. Okay, so there's one eye. Let's move over to the left side and draw the other eye. So you want to see this bottom part of the edge of the eye. Try to get it to the same height. So here I'm just going to draw the bottom edge by drawing a shorter upward curve. And then from here I'm going to go to the top. And again, I want to make sure that I get the top edge lined up. Starting at the top and curving down to meet that point. And from this point, I'm going to tuck this in underneath that upper eyelid. Just like so. Now let's split this in half with the pupil. So going up here at the top, curving down. And then again, drawing that same little oval, roughly the same size. So going down and back up. Okay, so we've got the eyes. Let's get into the mouth. So I'm going to locate the center area between the two eyes come down a little bit and I'm going to draw a little point. This will be my point of reference. The center of the mouth, we go up, curve down, and curve up, sort of following that line underneath the eye there. We're going to go to the other side. We're just going to draw a curve going that way, sort of curving down, but kind of ending up at the same height. So starting up here, we'll curve and meet that point in the middle. And at the end here, I'm just going to curl this up just a little bit on the end, just like a hook. In the center here, on either side, I'm just going to draw two angled lines for the nostrils. And then right here, I'm going to do an overlap. So from this point, I want to draw a curve going up and meeting that point on the outer part of the mouth. So starting up here, curving around, and meeting that point in the mouth. Let's draw the teeth. So on the left side here, I'm just going to draw what looks like a V tucked in underneath the top part of the mouth. Same thing on the right side. And then for the tongue, all I need to do is just draw a curve from down here. Just tuck that in underneath the mouth. Okay, let's do the bottom part of the chin now. So now that we have the, mouth, the eyes and the mouth in place, this will help us guide the rest of the shape of the head. So up here, I'm going to curve and follow the line underneath this mouth and go up under the chin. So starting up here, I'm just going to kind of come down and kind of start going outward. Okay, so it kind of goes wider here. Then from this point, I'm going to curve in and then around the eye. Let's draw the upper part of the head. So here I want to leave a gap because you want to see the back part of the ear. So I'm going to follow that curve and kind of continue on this way, just above this eye here. From this point, I'm going to draw this ear in first. So doing an overlap, I'm going to curve and point to the top of the ear. And from here I'm going to curve, sort of aiming for this point, but I'm going to leave it open here. So I'm going to curve and just kind of leave it open, just like that. And back here, I'm going to draw the back side of the other ear. So again, making sure the point is at the same height. So I'm going to put a point of reference here. And curve underneath the top of the head there. And then curve and tuck in underneath the side of the head. Let's draw a little line here just for a little bit of a frown. A little curve like that. And for a little bit of detail in the head, I'm just going to draw a little pattern. So starting up here, curve down. And again, you don't have to get it exactly the way that I do it. Just kind of get a rough shape. It's kind of like a blocky sort of shape there. Down here, I'm just going to draw a smaller one. Kind of like a four-sided shape there. And here, I'm going to draw another four-sided shape. Okay, so we got the head. Let's get into the body. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw the thing that's on top first, which would be the front arm. So right here where the chin is, I'm going to come up here, right about here, and just curve down the front part of the arm. Now, the, the claws of the arm get drawn on top of the foot. So what I'm going to have to do here is draw a curve like this and then draw two lines to a point. I'm going to draw a line from here out and then again drawing another curve and then from these two points just go to a point there. And I'm going to continue this one more time. So a little short line to the next nail do a curve and then draw like almost like a V shape there. From this point I'm going to draw the back of the arm it's curving up. Okay, so now that we have that in place, I'm going to draw in a little bit of pattern here. So let's draw that sort of blocky shape that we did on the forehead, four-sided here. We'll draw a smaller one 
just above it here. Now that we have that, now we can draw the back leg. So here, the back leg actually touches the back of this leg here. So let's go up right about here and draw a curve, kind of like that. And like I did here, I'm going to draw that curve for the nail, kind of that socket for the nail, and draw two lines to a point, a little short line across, and draw a curve and to a point. We'll do that one more time. So a line, curve for the socket of the nail, to the point. Now from here, I want to take this all the way back and tuck that in behind that ear line. So I'm going to go up here, curve around, and I'm keeping my eye up here as I draw. And I just want to tuck that in just like that. Now let's draw a little bit more patterning. So I'm going to draw some four-sided shapes. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of block it in however you feel. Here he's got one big one. It kind of comes up like that. Now I want to draw the front belly and the back leg here. So here I'm going to draw that curve of the belly coming down like this. But I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap here. So I'm not going to close it up. I'm going to draw it kind of like that. Let's draw the front part of this leg first. So coming up here and curve down. Now this leg, because it's in the back, it's going to be a little bit higher than the front leg. You want to sort of imagine a, an angled line there. So from here, I'm going to draw a curve and then a nail. Because it's in an angle, I'm going to draw the next curve right away without drawing that little line. Draw another nail. Now I'm going to draw one little line, curve for the nail, and then two lines in. From here, I'm just going to do a curve that tucks in under that belly. Back here, you're going to see a little bit of the back leg here. So right about here, I'm just going to draw a curve. And you might see one nail kind of poking out there. And then I'm going to draw, again, a little four-sided blocky shape just tucked in under there. The last part is the bulb on the back. So what I want is this huge sort of shape that's kind of, that big kind of comes from the top of the head back here to a point right about here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put a point of reference, a little dot right there. That'll be the peak. From here, I'm going to draw a curve going one side and a curve going the other way. From here, I'm going to take this curve going in and then out and tuck that in just on top of the head, kind of like that. This side, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to go this way and then curve back in. Now, I'm going to start building out. So from here, I'm going to draw one hump and then another one. Now, from here, I'm going to just sort of follow that same contour, but then get a little bit wider as I get to the top. I'm going to go up, kind of go wide, and then pull that back in. On this side, I'm going to do one two, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I want to bring it to roughly the same distance here to here. So coming in, and then tucking that right in behind the back. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Bulbasaur from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give this a like, share this with your friends, and get them to subscribe. Check out our Pokemon playlist. We have a ton of characters in there. I'll be trying to add more every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.